One of the first questions we have to answer when we're talking about putting analysis services in place is which edition or which version of SQL Server that we need. So that's what this video is all about. So like if I'm talking with somebody for the first time about working with analysis services, doing consulting, bringing that into their environment, inevitably one of the first questions is which edition of analysis services should I use? And quite frankly, that's the wrong question. You don't pick a version of analysis services. You don't get an edition of analysis services. You get an edition of SQL Server, or you get the version of SQL Server. When you buy the SQL Server license, analysis services comes with it. Okay? So the right way to have phrased that question is, which version of SQL Server do we need? Or which edition of SQL Server do we need? Okay. Now that brings to mind that there are two very distinct terms, version and edition, and we need to make sure we understand what the difference is. So version refers to the release. We're dealing with two versions of SQL Server in this course, SQL Server 2008, SQL Server 2008 R2, right? That's the version. The word edition refers to Enterprise Edition or Standard Edition, that's really the features that this copy supports, okay? So version, SQL Server 2008 or R2, Edition, Standard, Enterprise, Web, right, etc. So lots of uh, editions per version, you know, you'll have Standard, Enterprise, Work Group, okay? Just make sure when you're talking to somebody, you're talking about the right version. In this course, I have both SQL 2008 and SQL 2008 R2, okay? So I have a list. This is the complete list on page 6 of the additions of SQL Server 2008. And if you take a look at the asterisks down at the bottom, too, you'll notice that these bottoms, the Express and the Compact 3.5, do not include analysis services. That's right, there's no free version of analysis services. Okay. The first version this begins in would be on this list, the developer edition. Okay. And we'll talk about the features here in just a second, the differences between them. Okay. Now for R2, we have the exact same list, except for we have two additional products. We have Parallel Data Warehouse and Data Center. So those are the uber expensive, the, uh, the you know, $50,000 per processor expensive servers here, Parallel Data Warehouse and Data Center. Now, that is the SQL Server license, right? So when you buy that edition, you're buying the copy of SQL Server so that you get the features for analysis services that that edition supports. So let's get into taking a look at what the features that those of us wanting analysis services are interested in, okay? The Express Edition, no analysis services, okay? No free analysis services, okay? So you want analysis services, you're going to have to get something like Developer Edition. Uh, the Developer Edition is the exact same as the Enterprise Edition, except you're not allowed to do production work, okay? I thought that picture of the homeless robot was kind of funny, so that's why it made it on there. <laughs> uh, here are the ones that have SSAS that you can use, and when I arrange them by price, what I mean up here is like this is going to be, let's see if I can do this, All right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The Enterprise Edition is only going to have, let's just say, $5 signs. And the standard, $1 sign. And then Work Group has almost a complete one. And the Web has almost a complete dollar sign. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what your pricing is going to be, and I'm not your vendor. I, you can't buy it from me if you wanted to. But generally speaking, this is a fairly good ratio. 
the parallel data warehouse and the data center are about twice as expensive per CPU as the enterprise. The enterprise is about five times more expensive than the standard. Okay? The standard is, I don't know, maybe 20%, 25% more expensive than either the work group or the web. So that's kind of the difference between them price wise. Now there are some licensing changes in between R2 and SQL Server 2008 that really could cost your organization a lot of money. Um, I can't suggest what to do. I think that it would be wise of anybody looking at the two products to search on licensing costs per instance. And you might find that SQL Server 2008 is significantly cheaper on a per instance basis than R2. You just might want to look that up yourself. Okay. Now, the feature comparison that, it, that is in this video, man, this is no fun. Okay, you don't want to have me sit here and read a visual table to you, do you? That wouldn't be fun, would it? That's not fun. So I'm not going to sit here and read all of this. I'm going to allow you to do this. Uh, you'll notice that there's a lot of features not supported in other locations here. Um, you know, some of this stuff is not just for uh, the analysis services like this change data capture. That really is not for working with analysis services. We could work with that with data warehousing in the relational data warehouse not an analysis services okay on this one over here these are analysis services features so page 13 is specific to analysis services page 12 is for the generic term data warehousing right uh, but you notice that write back the ability to write back to your roll app dimensions is only going to be supported in the enterprise edition so that if that's important okay, you'll have to do that okay uh, let's see, the other things that I have in here would be some good links. You could probably get a good idea of what's in them by looking at the last part, like that's the editions of SQL Server 2008 R2, um, the comparison of the editions, the feature comparisons here. Okay. So some good links for you. I know that you're probably not watching the video so that you can type these in, but with this video there is a PDF and just load it up and click on the link or copy and paste from the link uh, and you'll be able to go to those uh, particular links there. Okay. All right, well, almost done, almost ready to jump in and start installing, uh, but there's just a couple more things we have to cover.